In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to search for items in a collection. There's two different ways to retrieve an item from a collection. One is to use the key, and one is to use the index. Key is very simple, all right? We have one item in our sample collection here that uses a key. So we could use that key value to find the item in question and put that value into the appropriate type of data. For instance, since we know that our colors would be strings, we could declare a variable called color to hold the retrieved color from our collection. And then color could be set equal to the color item that we would obtain by using the color key. So that would be the way to get the appropriate keyed item in the collection. Now using the index, we'd have to go through all the values in the collection to find the one we want. Now, to do that, obviously, you'd use a for structure. We'd need a loop variable. That would be the cornerstone of the for loop. If you remember from your VBA introduction course, a for loop is begun with the keyword for. We provide the name of the variable that's being used in the loop index in this case that's declared in the line above its start value to its end value well what's its end value well we can use the count procedure to tell us what that end value is it's a function because it returns a value so we need to put the parentheses there all right now, if you remember, a for loop ends with the keyword next and the loop variable that's being used to go through the loop. To retrieve a particular item, we would again use the item method. In this case, we would simply specify the value of the index. Now, in terms of obtaining a particular item and putting it in, because the collection can have a mix, what we'd want to do is put it into a variable, which is of type variant, which can be anything. All right. Then we would have to test the temp and its value based on the type of thing that we're looking for which depends on its value or how we're using it or whatever. So you can see that obtaining items without using unique keys in a collection can get complicated. Usually the only time that you'd be interested in doing it is if you have a collection of composite data types that you've created. So therefore, you can be looking for a value in a field in that composite. And you can put the item into a variant. You can test whether it actually is of that data type by checking the first field value, making sure it's the type it's supposed to be. And then specify the field by taking the value of the variant and putting it into a variable declared of that type. For instance, going back to the bowler, we would dim a variable as type bowler. We would set that variable equal to the value of temp. Then we could use that variable's name, say bowler1, and specify the fields. And it would be able to properly obtain the data that we're looking for.